Good morning again everybody. I am just off to get some ingredients for cookies. That said though, I'm in a rush. Maddie's just gone to the gym and I've got to get some ingredients. We are doing another recipe video for our channel today. I'm hoping to get it all done today because these recipes don't take as long as some other ones. So it's good, but we want to get it done in one day and I've got to rush to the shop. So I probably won't take the camera because I've just got to be in and out and I'll be taking the bike. I'll be taking Maddie's bike because my bike's front wheel is, you see it, just about sort of got a puncture somehow. I don't really know. I think it was when there's a traffic light in town that I cycled back through. When there's a cycle lane, there'll be a box at the front, uh, right next to the traffic lights reserved for motorcyclists and cyclists to go to the front. And as I was going round the cars to get there, I realized the whole middle of the road was full of glass. I don't know what it was, like shattered bottle maybe, and nobody had cleared it up. So I cycled through that and tried to brush it off the wheel while I was at the light. That might have been it. Anyway, it'll give me an excuse to finally change the inner tube. I think I've had the same inner tube on that bike since I bought it. So it's lasted quite well. It's lasted a year and a half. I can't complain. So I'll be back later. I'll get the ingredients. We'll probably do a cookie recipe video. Not this week, I think next week, because we're pretty busy this week. But I'll film some behind the scenes today and tomorrow. And that'll be this video. Enjoy. So much easier than Maddie's tire in Cambodia, if you remember that. That was easy. Okay, battery ran out, but you get the idea. I was just about done, and the tire is perfectly back on. That was incredibly easy to do. I was so, so surprised. Yep, no puncture, nothing. Great. Honk, honk. Right. This is what I had to work with. It does not show it because the um, camera is compensating and it's brightening up the room. But this room, ignore all the washing up. Like, let me try and change the lighting. No, it looks really bright. It's so, un like, I can't even explain to you how dark it is in there. It's never gonna show, yeah. It's literally like a dungeon. Um, the camera will compensate, but like, I need to film recipe videos. It's just so difficult in this little b uh, kitchen because it's a little corridor in the middle of our house and it doesn't get any light and we live on a street with very tall buildings that if it rains or if it's past a certain time of day, the sun disappears. And this room is beautiful and bright all the time. So yesterday it was really nice because the sun was reflecting off the building opposite uh -huh. and the kitchen was super bright. Yeah. But we weren't filming a recipe video yesterday. <sighs> I don't really know what to do now. Look, this is kind of, Whoa. okay, look, look this. When I just walk through then, this is a representation of how dark it is. <laughs> it doesn't show. No. It well, looks right. But... Yeah, it is a good thing. But I want to film, you know, part of my recipe. And I know that when I edit it, um, I have to brighten it up so much that it goes really grainy and it doesn't look very high quality. So, mm. Mm. anyway, hello. Did we say hello? I said hello before. Oh. I said what we'd be doing. Uh, well, we just have to wait. You okay. know, it's only, what time is it? 12. 12. You can wait a little bit. These recipes are kind of quick. Should I do the washing while we wait or not? Yeah. Do you think it's gonna get brighter? It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. Here yeah, we pick the one bad day. You. Oh, we thought it'd be fun to show you behind the scenes, but it's not very exciting today no, because we're not doing- Just moan, moan, moan. We're it? not doing cooking, cooking. We're doing like make ahead breakfasts. <clears throat> so it's not as labor intensive. I just done some overnight oats and some chia pudding. And I've actually never made chia pudding before. So we're gonna see how that turns out. And I've made overnight oats loads though. Next, I'm doing granola breakfast bars and tofu scramble. And maybe we could do the granola because it's not too dark here. Let's have a look, how is it? You see, it does really compensate this camera. It's pretty good. Yeah. We didn't think about this when we, obviously this house was the best house by far of any ones we looked at within our budget. But I did not think when I looked at this house, I did not consider the fact this is a corridor kitchen in the middle of the home and it would never yeah. be bright. I should have thought that. but. I mean, I can't, beggars can't be choosers. If the the sun was coming in like that yesterday, on like a sunny afternoon, as the days get longer, 
I reckon it'll be all right mm. as time goes on. It's just a bit fluid. Expect in the, in the spring and summer my videos to get way higher quality, especially because I'm saving up for a nice camera. So fingers crossed, but yeah, let's get on. <laughs> Chop. Chop. Probably be smarter to just do it with Chop. an eye. I don't know why I've decided to do it with the scissors. My old history teacher when we were like in primary school would give us wine gums sometimes, like once a week on a Friday. Why are you telling the story? And to make it last longer, I would ah. always chop it up with scissors. What the f Then it would just ruin the scissors because they'd get so sticky and I would always forget to wash them and I'd leave them over the weekend. Alex. So that's a little fun fact about me. <laughs> also, it got sunny again. Try the grey stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. How much were the pecans? I can't remember. Like a pound fifty. So there's a whole bag of pecans, that's a one pound fifty. Two cups of oats, that's like nothing, that's like 20p, 10p. Yeah. And then about half a, or about a third of a thing of maple syrup or a quarter of a thing of maple syrup, That's they were that was like five quid. <laughs> so that's what, another... Oh, it makes me want to cry. This was full yesterday. So how, yeah, so how much... I'm not going to do that maths because it will upset me. But if you think about it, when you buy granola in the shop, it is always about three quid or something. Maybe. Well, it is. If you buy granola in the shop, it's very often has honey in it so it's really hard to buy vegan granola the rest of the ingredients i wouldn't like yeah it's expensive granola is expensive never again no, no i make it <laughs> not often because yeah. it is it but to be fair you can make it as expensive as expensive yeah. as you like you can these are this is just like my favorite granola this has got all my favorite things in the world in it doesn't need all those nuts it doesn't need well it's only nuts. one nut but doesn't need, it doesn't need everything in there. The fancy pants syrup. You can get and syrup you don't, yeah, you don't need syrup. You can buy, you can use agave, or you can use yeah. well, um, you can get sugar. The, the stuff that isn't real maple syrup. Yeah, you, like. don't, yeah, but you don't need maple syrup. You can do sugar. Yeah, yeah. And maybe just okay. a bit more liquid. Do that next time, please. <laughs> but this tastes better. Oh, it does. Yeah. Are you sure it's not burnt? No, no. Taste it. Looks good though. It smells good. Pecans look alright. You yeah. have a really <laughs> oven. Mm. We're getting a new one. Um, what was that? We're getting a new oven because we told our landlady about it not working properly because you turn it to a certain temperature and it's not the same temperature inside so you have to keep it really low but even then I'm not convinced it's working properly because mm. it's still really hot so it's hard for me to do recipes obviously. It's my job and um, but love, our lovely landlady is getting us a new oven and no qualms. She just said yeah I'll get you a new oven so that's really, really good. Mm. We're so lucky we've got such a good landlady. She's like all problems we're having. Have we said about the problem with the damp on the vlog? No, because we haven't been vlogging so much. Yeah, we have a massive problem with damp. Um, oh, we mentioned it briefly. But... You can kind of see it here in the kitchen. You see this here? I wiped this last week and it's already coming back. And then in the bathroom is the main problem. And we think it's because of the scaffolding because she said that there's never really been that much of a problem. There's been a slight damp problem because it's an old house, but if you look, all this came through. I wiped this I wiped this last week, but you can see how bad that is, and that's come through really suddenly, and the wall is wet. So we've got a dehumidifier. State of the art dehumidifier. <laughs> We're going away this weekend to London to my sister's to meet up my sister and my fr our friend Sophie, and they're going to come and take out that unit there by the by the toilet. They're going to take this out and let it dry out and put a new one in and like repaint it and also put an extractor fan in because you can see the damp building up there. And obviously a lot of you have been mentioning about, well, we've been, we've been mentioning a lot about the condensation in the living area and that's just not normal. It's such a huge amount, like Alex window backed it and it's already, you know, all come back. It's obviously quite a big issue and it was also crazily moldy behind the desk. We've wiped that all away now. Obviously it's not ideal. So um, hopefully the extractor fan and when the scaffolding comes down, it will make a big difference. Yeah, whenever it comes down. Yeah. Supposed to be last week. Yeah, it was supposed, it was supposed to be, to be last, week. last month. It's supposed to be December. The granola has been made. Alex has done all the washing up. Look at that stack. <laughs> and now I'm gonna make some breakfast bars. Excited, Alex? Oh, got a bit of a flash there of your belly. Your belly. In my abs. <laughs> I don't love that hard. <laughs> I love you. We've perfectly for you up. You don't need abs. I mean, I can't talk, I don't have abs, so. <laughs> no, we haven't had abs for a while now. <laughs> yeah, I had them once. We had them, time. actually, we, we kind of had them in the summer, and they went. No, I didn't. You sort of did. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Alex!
What? What are you going to tell you what you just said? Right, it's time to cook. Take two me chopping dates. More dates. These are better dates, aren't they? They're easier to chop. The last ones kind of burn in the, <laughs> the oven. It's another swear for me to edit out. Naughty. I actually don't swear very often. Naughty. What's funny? See your hands. Oh. It looks like that time we went for a walk in the woods and you needed a poo. <laughs> and there was oh. no toilet paper. So you had to use your hands. But you'd eaten a lot of porridge that day. So. Alex, stop! Can you guess what dish it is yet? It's breakfast. It's the only savoury one I've done. It tastes so much like scrambled egg. Like seriously, try it. Why don't we make this more often? Wow. Doesn't it? We need to make this more often. We make it so often because... It takes time in the morning, well, can't be bothered. Buy, yeah, but as soon as we buy tofu, we eat it. Yeah. Like, I would, normally we make it at the weekends. It's like part of a bigger meal, like a brunch. Look! Do you know what's really great about my recipe videos is they've actually started to inspire me to make more foods, try new things and be a bit more experimental. So, ooh, I've got tofu in my hair. So um, it's nice though, because if I'm cooking for a recipe video, then we get to eat it all. So we're doing this breakfast video and we've got loads of fun breakfasts. Like, I'm a creature of habit and I just like stick to oats and smoothies. So it's nice to have some different ones. Or even oat smoothies. You feeling my belly? Oh, I felt a kick. Now this is the uh, problem with this camera sometimes, is that the screws come out here. So the whole screen just is basically just attached by this little thing here, so I've got to put the screws in. Fortunately I caught them this time. The last two times this happened, we've lost the screws. I've got my trusty Christmas cracker screwdriver. This is the only thing, I've got this whole thing, but nothing fits. So I've got to use this little guy. Yay, I did it. I didn't like that. <gasps> so Alex got these zero sugar yogurts, but they taste like Greek yogurt, because I obviously haven't eaten that in years and I used to love it. Because it, because obviously Greek yogurt's quite sour. Don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna eat it all. I'm not gonna like. <laughs> Looks like Maddie spilt the jar by mistake. <laughs> spilt the jar, spilt the granola. And it just so happened to pour out in a very arty way. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. It looks so good, doesn't it? Look at that thumbnail. Mm. Yeah, baby. <laughs> It's hard because it's such a zoomed lens that you have to be really high. I might have to get a step ladder. Ladder? Ladder. Of course, step ladder. Yeah, I think I might have to get the step ladder. Because it's too zoomed in. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh. Okay. <coughs> this is professional. This is really professional. So I'm on top of the world right now. Look. Oh my God. I'm like literally stood on the step ladder. <laughs> you know, that's what I gotta do. Hello little one. No, don't. <laughs> don't. Stop, stop. How good does this look though? Ignore all the mess surrounding, but look how good it looks. Oh my God. Oh, I might take some pictures on this camera. All right, it's time to come down now. Oh, I'm really hot. My turn. Ah! Alex is afraid of heights. No, this is okay. Careful. Oh, nearly. This must be what it's like to be your dad. My dad is like two inches taller than you, Alex. <laughs> this actually, I can't, this tastes so much like scrambled eggs. Like so much. I've had this in restaurants before. Not as good as this though. Want some? Yes, please. Feed me. Oh. How good is that? Mm. We need to make this more often. That's very good. I recommend it. I think it's all about the spices, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I used to love putting cumin, like a teaspoon of cumin, and cumin, cumin, into scrambled eggs. Yeah. And now I do it. Well, I think we put more turmeric. You got to put turmeric in to make it. That's yeah, not too much because then it will taste too much. Yeah, but not turmeric. too perfumey. That's a mistake I've made is I put way too much turmeric. Mm. I look like a 
my hair was so big. Um, whoa! If you put too much turmeric, it'll taste too turmeric-y, which is kind of like a perfumey taste, so. Yeah. And you do like half a teaspoon. But the cumin is uh, uh, very important. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we gonna eat some now? Yes! Okay. So you can go away now. No! Not you, them. Oh. Bye. Bye! Oh, is this goodbye for the vlog? Maybe. Have we filmed enough? Maybe. Yeah, we're quite tired. We'll say goodbye now, even if it's a short video. No, I think we've got enough. Yeah. Okay, hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to check out the actual video. This might go up before, so this is like behind the scenes. Oh, Same I, day? It'll probably go up a little bit after yours anyway, so... Oh, okay. It'll well, be go me. check out the video of the actual recipes. I'll if you're after it. some make-ahead vegan breakfast ideas, then... I'll link it below. I got you covered. I'll put a card in the video. See you well. later. See ya. Well, I already washed up last night and this morning and there's still all of this. Ah.